Yo, Elliot. So this question is from uh, Danny47 Pro. He wants to know if he's overtraining because of the past two years he's been training six days per week. And not only does he train with weight six days per week, but he also does endurance training in the form of rowing. So apparently our buddy's a rower. Basically every single day for a year or longer. Now, catch this. He feels great. He feels awesome. He feels like, hey man, there's no problem. I've been doing this for two years. I feel awesome. I like my results. My life is great. But my friends and other people, experts, including you, Elliot, are telling me that that may lead to overtraining. What's up? Am I adapting to this so that I don't overtrain? Or, uh, or should I back off because everybody else says I should? So, the, the way I would answer that question, first of all, is to rely on your own experience, right? So apparently, if you're getting stronger and you're feeling good and you're training six days a week, your body can handle that. We are all so different. For me to give you advice based on my experience, if it contradicts everything that you've experienced, would be unfair. That's why we all have to go out and do our own thing. These videos that I make and the videos that you watch from other experts, articles that you read, is just a perspective. It's just an idea. No matter how scientific someone may come across, right? No matter how many studies may prove one particular thing. Everything is merely a perspective because every moment of every single day in the succession of life on earth and in the entire universe is unique. All we can do is refer back to past experiences to sort of predict what might happen in the future. But that's always changing and we all have different lifestyles, we all have different genetic makeups, we all have different thoughts, we all approach this thing called life very differently and we're all coming from a different place. So all we can do is share. That's what I do here is share. And I would be wrong to tell you that, hey dude, you're getting great results, but you shouldn't do that, right? Okay? So um, that's the very first thing. The second thing is that to train that long over that period of time is very, is very common for a lot of people in the military. You know, there, I've had friends who are CrossFitters and Navy SEALs, right? I'm thinking of one guy in particular. And the guy trains like a maniac all the time. He does his Navy SEAL training and CrossFit training and the guy wakes up at four o'clock in the morning and he's got so much damn energy and he's just popping off in the mind. He's smart, he's athletic, he's great. Everything is going well. I'm pretty sure that it's taken some time, but his body's adapted to that volume of activity. So it's quite possible. There are a lot of careers. There are a lot of, uh, of like, when I was in graduate school, what's graduate school for one semester, I, lift, I was a, uh, a mover, I moved furniture. Right? That's what I did all day long for about a year. I'd get up, seven o'clock, move furniture all day long. Then on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'd go to the gym and I'd train. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'd go and play rugby. I played rugby, and that was in Springfield, Massachusetts. And I felt great because I think I did it for so long. Right? If I did that now, I'd overtrain. Right? And here's another thing to consider, that stress is cumulative. So right now, you see, I, I run a gym, I have an online business, I have four children, I've got way more bills than I did when I was in college, right? So all of that stress adds to the overload that would be associated with burdening the nervous system and the hormonal system so that you fail, so that you burn out. You might not have that, right? You might still live at home with your parents, right? All the food is paid for and laid out, you get home and the meals are there, you go to bed and sleep as late as you freaking want. Right? You have no stress, you have no children, you have no girlfriend nagging you, you just have nothing but your training and sleeping to do. Right? If that's the case, then the cumulative stress that a person like myself who doesn't get enough sleep and has multiple businesses and a family to run, that you could be able to handle far more than I could handle. Right? Again, so if I gave you my experience, which if I train six days a week, I'm fucked. It sucks, I'm sore all the time, I'm achy, my life is a mess. If I train the way you train, my life, my life would be a mess. But it's because I have more cumul cumulative stressors. 
So that's it, man. I, I gave you quite a bit to think about there. Bottom line is, if it's working for you, and there's no foreseeable, obvious, pending detriment to what you're doing, and if you're doing this for two years and you feel great, then keep doing what you're doing and ignore everyone else. Talk to you next time. Yo, Elliot.